James Scurlock's remarkable documentary shines the light of truth on a national tragedy. You know, many Americans are drowning in debt, way too many, and something has to be done to stem this tide. I know about this personally. I was a millionaire starting from nothing by age 26, and I was broke again by 30. I crashed, I splatted, I did stupid with zeros on the end, and then I started over, and I was a millionaire again by the time I was 40. That time I did it with no debt because I don't borrow money. I crashed and burned, but I learned. Believe me, I learned. And for almost 15 years now, I have sat at a broadcast desk like this, doing our talk radio show, three hours a day, five days a week, listening to the pain and heartbreak of literally hundreds of thousands of Americans, millions of them listening in while I do that. Sure, I give advice, but first I listen. Never stop listening. Winning at money, personal finance, wealth building is 80% behavior. It's only 20% head knowledge. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. If you really want a different result, you've got to get knowledge, yes. But more importantly, you have to change your behavior permanently. When my wife Sharon and I did that, it revolutionized our lives. Personal finance isn't rocket science. It's just common sense. It's how your grandparents lived. If you don't have the money, you can't buy it. Hey, there's a neat idea. And you know, you can learn how to handle money. You can change your behaviors. You can do it. Where do you start, though? Well, here's some practical ideas that our team members teach all across the nation every day. First, stop the bleeding. You can't get out of a hole while you're digging out the bottom. Cut up your credit cards. That's right, plastic surgery, a plastectomy. You learn the difference between wants and needs, and for now, you only buy what you really need, and even if you're going to buy a want, you only do it with cash. And start using cash more. We suggest you use a thing called the envelope system, where you put cash in some envelopes for some of your spending categories, and you write on them what the money's for. On your food envelope, you write food, and then you can only buy food out of the food envelope, and you can't buy clothes out of the food envelope, and you can't buy food out of the clothes envelope. No cheating. And when that envelope's empty, I don't care if the shirt's on sale. Shut up. You can't buy it. That's how it works. Then get on a budget. We recommend a zero-based budget. Spend your whole paycheck on paper before the month begins. Give every dollar a name. Every dollar has a predestination. You got to love it. Hey, if you don't have a job, get one. We recommend a program we call the Baby Steps, because you can walk all the way around the world if you do it one step at a time, step by step by step. And cleaning up and winning with money is the same way. We have seven Baby Steps we want to walk you through. Baby Step 1. Start a beginner baby emergency fund of $1,000. Really quickly, I want you to get a $1,000 rainy day fund just to keep the little emergencies from becoming new debt. Number two, set up a plan to get out of debt. We use a thing we call the debt snowball, where you list your debts, smallest to largest, pay minimum payments on everything but the little one, and attack the little one with a vengeance. When that one's gone, you take the payments you used to pay there, and you attack the next one down. When that one's gone, you take the payments from one and two, and you attack number three, and you work all of your debts off except your house using the debt snowball. And you do that with real focused intensity, this, ah, I've had it, I'm getting out of debt. Then once you finish baby step two and you're out of debt, everything but the house, you go back to that $1,000 account in baby step three and raise it up to three to six months of expenses. Once you've done that, then you move on to baby step four, which is 15% of your income into retirement. Five is saving for your kid's college, if that applies to your situation. Six is pay off the house early. You know, we're teaching people this all over America. They're paying off their homes in seven, eight, nine years. How cool is that? And without a house payment, you move on to the last baby step. Baby step seven is become very wealthy and give a bunch of it away. When it comes to money, ignorance isn't bliss. You need to get in a class. Find one that offers both information and accountability. There are classes taught right now in thousands of locations all across the country. In classes, people learn what they need to know and they put the knowledge to work, encouraging and supporting each other in the process. Read books about money. You know, I've written several, but there are many other people that have written great books. Five years from now, Charlie Tremendous Jones says, you'll be the same person you are today except for the people you meet and the books you read. Read, 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 read. Turn your car into a learning center. Zig Ziglar says this, we offer help and hope to call on more than 300 radio stations, including Sirius and XM, five days a week. We take this message of personal responsibility, and we do it in live events several times a year with audiences that number tens of thousands of people. You know, I'm just one guy, but there's other people out there doing this stuff. Listen, help's available if you want it badly enough. You'll find it. I can tell you this. Very few things are certain in life, but this much I can promise you. The anxiety, the pain, the calls from creditors, the hopeless cycle of debt, it will continue until you change. Yes, the companies are misbehaving, but you know what? It's up to you to fix your life. That personal responsibility element is where you have control. You can rock your world doing this.